Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, a test coach, having nine years of experience in chakra testing in different IT companies. As industries are moving towards web services and APIs, most of the software testers are willing to learn API testing and automation. In this video, I will help you guys to learn API testing very quickly. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more updates about the new learning tutorials and keep motivating me to make more such kind of videos. So today we will learn API testing. What is API testing? Benefits of API testing. Web services, SOAP and REST. We will talk details about it. We will see how Postman tool works. We will discuss about REST actual framework and we will learn how to do API automation. And in the end, we will discuss about the various interview questions. So first thing, what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. API acts as an interface between two software applications and allows the two software applications to communicate with each other. API is a collection of software functions that can be executed by another software program. For example, you have been to a restaurant for lunch or dinner. You gave your order by looking at the menu card and items available. Waiter noted all your orders and informed in the kitchen. And once food is ready, he served the food at your table. Here, waiter acts as an API. As a waiter, the API takes a request from a source, takes that request to the database, fetches the requested data from the database and returns a response to the source. Let's take one more example that is very common scenario of booking a flight for example in goevivo.com. It's an online travel service that aggregates information from multiple airlines. When you go for a flight booking, you enter information like journey date, return date, class, etc. and click on search. This will show you the price of multiple airlines and their availability. In this case, the application interacts with the APIs of multiple airlines and thereby gives access to the airlines data. So APIs are the connecting tissue between two different systems or layers of an application. See here. Applications often have three layers. A data layer, a service layer and a presentation layer. The API layer contains the business logic of an application the rules of how users can interact with services, data or functions of the app. As the API or service layer directly touches both the database and presentation layer, it's a good point for testing. There are many aspects of API testing, but the main purpose of API testing is to check the functionality, reliability performance and security of the programming interfaces. Here we send call to the API and get response and we validate that response. API tests are very different from GUI tests and won't concentrate on the look and feel of the application. It mainly concentrates on the business logic layer of the software architecture. If you will see here, this is the presentation layer or UI, this is the business layer where all the logics present and this is the database. So we do all API testing here. So 
from UI request goes to here then to database then it sends the response again to the UI. We'll discuss about all these things in our future tutorial. Now let's talk about what are the benefits of API testing. The first thing is we can test core functionality. The first major advantage of API testing is access to the application without an user interface. Testing the core, core level functionality of the application provides an early evaluation of its overall build strength before running GUI tests. This helps expose the small errors that can become large problems during GUI testing. API testing helps in earlier testing. Once the logic is designed, tests can be built, into, built to validate the correctness in responses and data. We don't have to wait for various teams to finish their work or for full applications to be built. Test cases are isolated and ready to build immediately. It is faster and better test coverage. API testing is faster. API test automation requires very less code comparatively your UI automation. So it can provide faster and better test coverage. API testing is time effective if you we'll compare with the GUI testing. API testing reduces cost and risk. It helps to reduce the testing cost. With API testing, we can find minor bugs before the GUI testing. These minor bugs can be very big during GUI testing. So if you we'll find these bugs in the early stage during API testing, it will be cost effective to the company and also reduces the risk. Faster time to resolution. When API tests fail, we know exactly where our system broke and where the defect can be found. This helps reduce time in triaging the bugs between the builds, integrations and even different team members. Last is quick automation. So API test automation requires comparatively less code than UI automation. That provide faster result and better test coverage in less time. Next, what is web service? A web service is a collection of open protocols and standards to communicate between two applications over a network. A web server running on a computer listens for requests from other computers. When a request from another computer is received over a network, the web service returns the requested resources. This resource could be JSON, XML, an HTML file, images, audio files. So many people ask, what is the difference between web service and API? So all web services are APIs, but all APIs are not web services. That's very important to remember. Web service supports XML, whereas API response can be XML, JSON, or any other format. Web service uses three styles, REST, SOAP, and XML RPC for communication, where API can use any style of communication. What are different types of web service? So you know SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, XML RPC, JSON RPC, then REST. In, in these, SOAP and REST are widely used. So mainly you will find testing SOAP APIs or REST APIs in your organization. Let's understand what is the difference between SOAP and REST. So SOAP is simple object access protocol. It is a protocol 
through which two computers communicate by sharing XML document. Where uh, REST is a representational state transfer, it's a service architecture and a design for network based software architecture. SOAP supports only XML format, whereas REST supports different data formats like JSON, XML, uh, text. SOAP doesn't support caching, uh, REST supports caching. SOAP is slower than REST. Then we'll talk about the CRUD operation. CRUD basically means create, read, update, and delete. So these are the operations which we do during our API testing. So create is known as a post method used for creating a resource. Similarly, read is get, update is put, delete is delete. In whenever you want to retrieve some data, then you can use get method. When you want to update some data, then you can use put. When you want to delete some content, then you can use delete. There are some other methods as well. We'll read about them in future. So here I will show an example of RESTful API. However, you see this is HTTPS. HTTPS is the protocol. Whatever this, this one you are seeing, right? So this is a URI or base URL. Where we are going to send our request. This API slash users, this is the endpoint. It will change for all the APIs where your base URL remains same. Then this one is your query parameter. So that is nothing but your that thing that is that is a condition or filter for which type of data you are trying to fetch. Let me show you one example. You can go to this site. Here there are multiple operations here. You can see there is a get option. So what we are seeing here. This is a endpoint. So if we if we want to fetch data, we are what we are doing here is we are fetching data from a URL and we are getting response code as 200 and the response in a JSON format. Let me show you. So this is this is your protocol HTTPS. Then this is your base URL. Then what we'll do is we'll copy this. So I'm just removing this. So this is your endpoint, and this is your query parameter. Let's see what response it is giving. So it is giving all this data, whatever you are seeing here, right? All this data. For page two, so here condition is page two. For page two, it is giving data. Let me try for page three, if something is there. Yeah, this is for page three. So query parameter is nothing but a condition which kind of data you want to fetch. You can try this website. So anyway, we are going to use this for our all next uh, tutorials how to face data how to so here you can see different different get post put patch so there is a difference between put and patch so put is you are updating all the contents where patch you can update any particular field i'll show you how to do that then here you have delete okay in the next tutorial we'll talk about how to install postman tool and do this testing how to find this response, and how to validate this response code. We'll talk about those things. Thank you so much.